I'm tired. The best lover for me. Did you go to TwitchCon? Sadly, I did, and I was sick. Welcome. What the? Was this always here? Nope. Oh my god. Sorry if I'm stinky. You know, I've been sweating all day. You're not stinky. <gasps> <gasps> Welcome. Thank you. Oh my gosh. This setup is crazy. You like? I love it. I did it on myself. Except, I mean, I had to ask the people to make the wall, but. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> this was not here. That's amazing. Hello, guys. Oh, my child loves you. Oh, no. <laughs> what are we going to do? We could legit just chill okay, and cool. talk. And then if you want, we can grab some food or something. Is that pineapple? Yeah. You want some? I'm a slut. <laughs> she said, I'm a slut. <laughs> it's very, it's kind of mid pineapple, I won't lie. It? But it's pineapple nonetheless, you know? Do you want a headset? Or whatever. Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> Aria, what's your favorite movie? So, hmm. Where, you're hitting me with those kind of questions today? I don't know. Someone else asked it. Um, I don't have one, but the most, the movie that I always like end up watching over and over again, mm -hmm. I have two. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Yeah, I know. I know. And Machia. Ooh. Wait, I think I've watched Machia, but... Yeah, bro, like, I cry every single time. Hmm. The Jim Carrey version, yes. It's true. Is it good? I'm not gonna lie, that you sounds never like such watched a meme. It? No. We're watching it this Christmas. I don't care what you're saying. We're watching it together. It's so good. I cannot. You've never seen The Grinch Who it's Stole so Christmas? good. Oh my God. It's so good. Okay, Miss Martha May was my sexual awakening, okay? Huh? My bi-curious sexual awakening. She's so hot. Miss Mar... Martha May. Martha May? Yes. Yeah. Well, well, the Miss I just added, but it's just Martha May. Martha May. <laughs> right? True. She's so hot. Ooh, she's very yes. pretty. Like kind of redhead? Yes. But then it's like the way she moves too. And then like her her boobies are always like pushed up and looks really good. And Fact. she's and she's like girl boss too. <laughs> Man. Martha May who? Yes. Okay, I'm getting a lot of huhs in the chat. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> Come on, guys. What is this? <laughs> Please. They're lying, you know. <laughs> they know. They know. They know. <laughs> oh my god, true. So, when are we doing a cooking stream? <gasps> yeah, true. When? I told you any time. <laughs> I keep That's on, on you. I keep on thinking. I'm like, I have to make my, my setup perfect You don't perfect need to do anything. You. Bro, but I do. All that matters is me, you, and some content. The more scuffed, the better, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You've never I'd rather Toy just Story? be a meme. Oh, she doesn't know. What? Why? What do you think are like really important movies to watch in your childhood? It's not Toy Story for me, but it's still like, oh god, I'm sorry. I didn't watch Toy Story. I didn't watch the Grinch. I wasn't or a huge fan of Lion King I didn't either. Really watch anything. I'm about to get canceled for that. Lion King. <laughs> I just remember something about the uncle. Oh yeah, Sc Scar. Is that his name? Couldn't tell you. Yeah, no, not the D colon. No, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry. They're gonna D colon as fuck. Harry Potter I watched, but I, I watched Potter. it when I was like 23. I watched all of Harry Potter. Harry Potter's very good. I even did a marathon and watched it all again. I think that one is actually iconic level where you can watch it at any point of True. your life. True. Mulan's good too. Oh yeah, too. I thought, I thought, I thought the Cookie Monster was in Monsters Inc., but that's actually Cookie Monster? Sue Sullivan or something. You mean like Sesame Street? No, I don't know. Oh my I God. thought the blue thing. <laughs> Sully, not yeah, Sue. Sully is completely different. Yeah, oh I God, thought they yeah. were the same. No, 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 they're different. They're different. They could be cousins. Right? They could be cousins. 
Their, their branding is confusing. It's not me. Yeah, it's 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 the blue, the fur. Mm, yeah, it's Sully <laughs> in Monsters Inc. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Someone's asking about your pants. Oh yeah, or the hoop, the, the hoop already came with it. Ooh, yeah. Where'd you get it from? Um, some real cheap website. That I'm sure you could probably find these I pants everywhere. It's I one of those like wholesale. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Not I proud, feel but... bad. Yeah, so I was gonna say I'm not proud. Though. Yeah. No, I mm, just know if I ever dodge like a recommendation, it's not because I'm gatekeeping. gatekeeping. It's, it's just because I like, feel bad. Like sometimes I'll order actively. from a store and I'll be like, "Wow, amazing!" And then I'll get it and I'll be like, "Oh, it was wholesale or like yeah, drop shipping." Yeah. I can't true. recommend. True. True. Yeah. True. Anyways, how's life? What's new? What do you do? Baby boo? It's nothing new, to be honest. I'm just like desperate <gasps> for a game. How was TwitchCon? Not... It was it was really good. Well, I, I, I surprisingly enjoyed it a lot more than I thought okay, I would. Okay, let's get to the tea. Did anything weird happen? Oh. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> That's what we really want to know. Uh... Yeah, we love TwitchCon. We love TwitchCon. Okay, spill the tea though. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Horrible. Well. Uh, appar- apparently, I was being really disrespectful to other booth mates. Oh, that! And, um, you didn't and, um, end up telling me more about that. What happened? Oh my god, it's like so dramatic. I could, I, I definitely think I'm very emotional though, and the way I react. But I can't help but feel like sometimes people need to learn that you can treat people with a little bit more kindness, and you'd get what you want a lot easier and better, and it's good for the both of us, you know. But anyways, basically, I had a. You gotta be more specific. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I hate. What happened? What if they're watching? They're probably. They're probably. Well, we're not watching. gonna say their name. You don't gotta get that specific. True, true, true. I but just I what happened generally? Um, basically, my booth. Um, the line got really, really big. Hell yeah, it did. <laughs> and I was um, being super hospitable and like saying yes to basically anything and everything, yeah. like signatures video requests like photos everything mm-hmm. um because like like for me i feel like it's the only time that, that some someone people, can ever yeah come. and i like and i owe everything to my community i would be nothing without y'all so that's why i'm like oh my gosh like it's i'm more than happy to like provide do this you know give you my time yeah. but then um unfortunately the staff did not think the same way and they're like oh no or like she has a whole line that's like clogging up the space and it's a fire hazard or whatnot but it was the way they like approached me with it it'd be different if i was just told like hey cut it short you have you have like to just keep it like like yeah. straightforward i would have been totally fine with that but i kid you not this is what okay I, I, i'm not even exaggerating this is what happened okay so you're me you're behind the booth and then he goes, hey, hey, let me talk to you real quick right now. So I'm like, oh, my God. So uh-huh. I come over, and he goes, hey, so I know you must be discussing the wonderful art that you designed uh, uh, to put in front of your shirt and your hoodie in this artist alley. I'm sure you're discussing the design of it, but you're being very disrespectful to other booth mates. Like, We've gotten multiple complaints from neighbors that, you know, you're causing a fire hazard. You're being very disrespectful, blah, 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 And he's just like, he's like twitch. You know, yeah, he goes, he goes. What is that patronizing ass? Yeah, I talking. know. It's condescending ass. And then he goes, he goes to say that, like, he went out of, or they went out of their way to give me a meet and greet slot on Saturday. And I, and from now on, this point on, I need to tell people Saturday, 2 p.m., Saturday, 2 p.m. And I'm like, <laughs> what, <laughs> what do I do with the people that didn't buy three day tickets, you know? True. Yeah, because it's like a huge price difference. Like, these tickets are not cheap. I don't want to refuse people ever, but he's like, nope. You know, and I just hated the way he said it. Why did he have to say that we're discussing the art on my my shirt? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I told them to. Hey, I'm selling that. Merch. I don't know. Is he being sarcastic or? We- I'm confused by why he would bring it up like that. That's what I mean. And I uh, at first I was like, okay, Arya, don't overreact because I have a habit of being very emotional. But my sister witnessed it, mm-hmm. and right when I turned around to my sis, she was like. Nah, uh uh-uh. uh uh-uh. uh because my sister's like my family right so she's obviously like protective and watching out my back or for my back and she was like that's not okay like mm-hmm. why do they talk to you like that 
And I'm like, I know. And my sister's like complete normie, by the way, guys. She doesn't really, she doesn't play games. She doesn't have a PC or anything. She doesn't know like the community. She doesn't know. She doesn't really understand the logistics. But from that conversation, she was like, you should not be talked to like that. Yeah. And I'm like, I know. Actually, oh, I don't God. think you're the only person who had that issue, essentially. Really? Yeah. I heard that Twitch staff at TwitchCon in particular. I don't know how they... I don't know what the hiring process was like for TwitchCon, mm-hmm. but I heard that the staff just felt a little outdated. And like they, Yeah. To me, that sounds to me like someone who hasn't been to TwitchCon before and doesn't understand the magic of TwitchCon, which is essentially meeting creators. Yeah. Like, yeah, sometimes it's annoying, it becomes problematic, or like lines are long, whatever, but you have to understand... That is why people fucking go to TwitchCon. So yeah. be kind to the creator that's taking time out of their day to yeah. come and meet people and honestly drive revenue for the whole convention. Exactly. And no, exactly. Pay whoever is working. Anyways, but facts. Be nice, organized, but like don't be condescending towards them. They're, yeah. They're just why is this, like like why you're essentially you doing talk to me like that your job. And of course they can do their job, but they can mm-hmm. do it in a kind way as well what do you mean discussing my design like that's so lame like come I'm on, sure bro. you're ah. I'm sure you're talking about the art for the artist alley I'm like okay so you have a problem with what I'm selling or you have a problem you with... have a problem that I'm in the artist alley and that I'm popping yeah like oh man it was really cute though I had I actually had a neighboring booth that had given me their business card. Mm-hmm. They actually responded to my tweet because mm-hmm. I like I vented on my alt Twitter. Yeah. And they responded like, "Hey, just to let you know, like the complaint didn't come from us." And I'm like, "Oh, oh heart!" That's like, really cute. so cute. People are no like everyone's just so kind, and I, I swear, if they just came up to me, they didn't even have to say it nicely. They could just say it straightforward, mm-hmm. like, "Hey, this is getting dangerous." can you cut it short or like, you know, or make it so that it's not dangerous. And I'm like, oh God. Yeah, I do want to specify, I don't think it's Twitch staff. It's convention staff at TwitchCon. This guy was Twitch. How? Oh, how did you know? Because I know. But I won't say. But yeah, this this he, guy was was Twitch. And he... Wait, that makes me It was me so juicy, because girl. Like, it was juicy. No, no, no. So I, I do have to say, though, before I make it sound like Twitch is That makes me mad ass, because he should know better than... Yeah, no, for real. So before I like... Bef- yeah, before we go like, grr, Twitch. Um, no, Twitch also actually, I work with them to like solve it. Mm-hmm. And he basically got yelled at, at with like, by multiple people. Multiple sources have told okay. me like, they handled, yeah, we handled blank. We handled this guy. Maybe it's just guy. a bad apple. Like It was people, a bad apple. Yeah, some people yeah. when they're in a position of power like that. Yeah. Like, oh my God, I'm better than people. And the, <laughs> the craziest thing is like, I got apologies from three different sources not from him and then when i saw him the last day or i when i saw him the day of my fan meet and greet too he like literally could not even look at me in the eye he was like dodging me and i'm like oh i hate you (laughs) come on man we can all be friends we can all like just just be like hey sorry you perceived it like that or like sorry i stressed you out or any of that because he knew Mm -hmm. girl the tea gets oh it gets deep Deeper than that? No, because I obviously talked to him. I spoke to him. I, <clears throat> yeah, no. It, oh, you spoke to him afterwards. There's layers. <gasps> okay, if you want to share. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So like the hey, okay, so that was the first, like thing mm-hmm. alt- altercation, if you want to call it. But then, um, so I sold out the first day. Yeah. I sold out. I sold, and I also sold out early. <laughs> so I basically left my booth by like around two p.m. Mm-hmm. I like left my booth. So, um, I packed everything up. I broke down all the boxes. I made sure everything was, like, super neat. It wasn't, like, messy looking at all. But, um... <laughs> Period. A, <laughs> a couple hours... Sorry, when you said I sold out, I was like, did you sign a streaming deal or something? Oh, no. <laughs> no, my merch sold out. Yeah, so, um... He messaged me, like, hey, are, did you leave your booth? And then I explained to him, I'm like, oh yeah, so I sold out, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. He goes, congrats for selling out, but are you leaving your booth? And I'm like, um, yeah, yeah. like I, it was implied, like I thought, like I wrote, like it was implied that I sold out. Mm-hmm. And I even, I even explained, um, yes, I, I am leaving my booth because my merch people cannot do same day um, stock. So yeah. I can't like sell more even Stay. if I wanted to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And 
I also told them that like people are treating it as a fan meet. You know what I mean? Like if yeah. I just stay there with nothing to sell, they're gonna be like, oh look, it's Arya and I her booth. I think that's very fair. Of yeah, you. yeah. So I'm just like, it doesn't make sense for me to be there. You yeah. know? Yeah. Um, but basically, he confirms with me three times, and before he does that, he also opens up the mess or he opens up the statement with, um, "We noticed your booth was empty. We have feedback for you." So right away, I'm like, okay, this is a little cryptic. Like, I... Wait, he mm. messaged you? Yeah, yeah. He messaged me first, sorry. How did he message you? Through Discord. Yeah, he's a coordinator. Oh. Yeah. But anyways, okay. he messaged me through Discord, and he starts off by saying, oh, yeah, uh, we noticed your booth is empty. Something along the lines of that. And, so, and he goes, um, we have feedback for you. And I'm like, I'm, immediately, I'm like, okay, okay. I'm, and I, that's when the whole, like exchange that I have to like explain myself that three times mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be there mm -hmm. right and then by the end of that he goes all right expect the feedback in your email and I'm like am I in trouble <laughs> I literally wrote that to him I was like am I in trouble and then my dude ghosts me after that he literally we were having like Full on, like he was checking his phone type beat, you know, like this was like, there was no pauses in between our messages. And then right when I ask, am I in trouble? That's when he ghosts me. That's when he like leaves. And then I'm like, oh my God. So I'm paranoid. I'm like, <laughs> you know, I'm like so scared. I don't know what's happening. Power and trip. Dude, dude, for real. And then. Why are you yeah. stressing out? Mm -hmm. Like. <laughs> Yeah. The creators of the event were yeah! coming to see creators. I was like, oh god. <laughs> like, you know, I'm already like a, a very highly anxious person. So I'm just like, okay, you know, I'm trying to calm myself down. I'm like, whatever. I'm getting a lot of like validation and feedback from like people online because I like tweeted on on my alt again. I'm like, guys, like if I'm not good, this is why. Because I just, that I don't want to like, I was very anxious if the whole I time. If I was you, I like that kind of would have ruined my weekend in a way it did it it essentially did but luckily i swear my community saved me because so many people were coming up to me like we heard what happened it's not your fault it's yeah, not your fault we it's not. so when i was like told that and even like yeah and multiple twitch creators too like they're like we saw what happened not your fault like we got in trouble for crowds too not your fault like mm -hmm. and i was like okay honestly that's just all i needed to hear and even from him if he just said hey like chill out you're you're good i would have been fine but he chose to ghost me when i asked am i in trouble so obviously i'm like okay okay i'm so, sorry i'm mm -hmm. just gonna add like yeah that's so fucking weird yeah because for him to ghost you yeah yeah, yeah. as you ask that it's like mm -hmm. he wanted you to feel bad that's what i've been saying i'm like which is so like bro ain't you're no just staff <laughs> ain't no why do we want a creator to feel bad like even mm -hmm. if there's an issue, okay, try mm -hmm. to fix it. Why would you want them to feel bad? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Some weird's you going on there. You should have seen my messages too. I'm like, is there anything I can do? Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, what? please, I'm catering to this dude. I'm like, please, like, I just don't want to. Like, don't. God. Never, ever, never cater to I just a man. Don't wanna, I just don't want to no. trust any troubles. Stop it <sighs> right now. Vow to me that you will never cater to anyone. <laughs> I'm okay, no, but for real, like, <laughs> when someone is making you feel like you need to cater to them, yes. the more you cater to them, the more they're going to make you feel I, like you need to cater I to them. Low -key you know I low-key feel I mean? like I yeah. was too nice in the situation. I, I should have been like, you should not talk to me this way, but I didn't. I would have been like, <laughs> I'm getting feedback, you're getting feedback. <laughs> he did get feedback, though. <laughs> yeah, he did, to his face, and yeah, but either way, um, after, after that happened, Girl, another mm. layer to the huh? onion. Girl, you think it ends? That's a big fat onion, huh? Yes, yeah, a big onion <laughs> with like four whole layers. But anyways, peeling back that one. Jesus. Okay, I. <laughs> the next day, <laughs> this guy can kiss this. I can't. I can't. Chat. You guys are too funny. So funny. But anyways, um, the next morning, right? I'm like, okay. I have to go pick up the rest of my stuff at my booth. Right, I have to like mm -hmm. clear out because I still yeah. have my cash register. I cleared out the cash, but I still had the box, and I still had um, a couple of my personal belongings, or my rug, my uh, clothing rack. Mm -hmm. It's gone. Wait, what? Yeah, 
I go I go at like around 10 30 11 a.m too and it's completely gone everything is gone and it that whole, my whole booth even they even took away my my nameplate and I'm like damn I kind of want to take that home but no it's gone everything's gone and I'm like what the heck so imagine already being paranoid that you're in trouble right mm -hmm. so you are like okay I gotta be as considerate as possible I gotta like I gotta like remove my stuff I, I just don't want to cause any more stress for people mm -hmm. so I get there early it's gone everything's gone so I messaged this guy again, right? I'm like, hey, like, uh, this is where I, I slowly started showing my frustrations with the matter. I'm like, hey, like, I would, uh, uh, I, I would commute or I would appreciate communication on the matter because my stuff is gone. Yeah. Again, no response. <laughs> so I'm like, what do I do? You know, like all my stuff is gone, and like no one's telling me anything. I got I zero communication. Your stuff without telling you. Wait, right? people, it's normal for people to leave stuff in their booth in the artist alley, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and 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 this so, year they were kind enough to offer us like um, a a lock crate chest mm -hmm. cup cabinet yeah, thing, like a storage, a storage cabinet. Yes, that. So the entire cabinet is gone, and Wait, all, yeah, all my stuff, <laughs> dude, girl, everything was gone. Literally, the only thing that was there was a t like a table and a chair <laughs> for for like meetings or something. But yeah, the tea is piping. That's what I'm saying. No, the tea really is piping. It that's really was stuff. piping, and I'm like, oh my god. What happens next? I'm well. I'm on the edge of my seat. Well, it's kind of boring. But well, okay. Well, not, not really. <laughs> so at this point, I'm kind of at wit's end, right? Because yeah. I'm so stressed, and yeah. I have my meet and greet in two hours. So I'm like, okay, I can't stress out, or three hours. I can't stress out about this anymore. Mm -hmm. So I talk to my Twitch rep. She's a little busy. I get it. And then that's when I'm like, I need to get someone that will fight for me to get Aww. involved. So I talk to my agents, mm -hmm. and I'm like, hey. This is the situation. And they're mad for me. And they're like, oh, hell no. That's weird as heck. Yeah, that's weird yeah. as heck. So then they actually um, talk to the right people. Or they, they talk directly to the dude. They knew. They knew who it was. Mm -hmm. Yep. They knew who it was. They, t they talked we directly to him. We know he has him. his Discord notice on. Why mm -hmm. is he answering that's you? That's what I'm saying. And then immediately, my agents were, were so quick on getting people to respond. But then, to be fair, they did say, let us be bad cop. So I guess, like, because they're bad cop, they're going to get that response ASAP. And they did. They, like, literally within the hour, they're like, we handled it. They know where your stuff is. Blah, blah, blah. Here's the contact. And then I contact, right? Mm -hmm. I text this number. I'm like, hey, do y'all have my stuff? She goes, what booth are you again? And I'm like, <laughs> so I give her my booth number. And she goes, uh, yeah, it's been cleared out, and the people said that there was nothing there. Huh? I know. I know. Girl, I have all the receipts. So they it's yoinked crazy. your shit, and then they lost your shit. They yoinked it, and then they claimed that they saw nothing. So I'm here like, <laughs> it doesn't oh, stop. <laughs> it doesn't stop. I was so sad, and I was just like, okay, okay. Um, are, And then she was like, we'll check again, though. Like, two or three hours later, they find it. So it was uh it was crazy. And then I had to like I had to set up a time to get it again later. Mm -hmm. So imagine all of that could have been just easily prevented had he just communicated, "Hey yo, pack your stuff." Or "Hey yo, I think it's good to like, you know, do it today." Do it today. Or yeah. We're going to do it. Literally. Yeah, any communication. So, the feedback, right? So, at this point, I'm like, I need to know what this feedback is. Is he still stuck? <laughs> Probably. I, I heard he had a lot on his plate. What's his name? Oh, my God, right now? Or, I, okay, here, you can write it down. Here, I just want to see if I know him. Oh, yeah. That's really I can weird. spell it out right now. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. So I asked my my agents to get it for me. Bob. <laughs> Sorry, go on. I, I asked. Oh, yeah. So I asked my agents to find out what the feedback was. Mm -hmm. Turns out the feedback was solely to 
take my stuff home so that it's like a theft prevention measure. It was all for theft prevention. And I'm just like, so you're telling me... He could have just said, oh, if you're going to leave... Yeah! You should pack up your stuff because we don't want it stolen. That's why I felt like but this whole like, time... Mm, you're going to get feedback. You're like, oh my god, am I in trouble? Nothing. Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. So I I was like, are you... But they, they, they thefted your stuff. <laughs> they did. They did without telling me. So obviously, at the end of all this, literally the last day, the guy responds. And you know what he says... He says, I had no idea that they took your stuff. I'm like, that has to be cap because literally <laughs> the feedback is to be theft, theft prevention. If it's theft prevention, what is the, like, you know what I mean? Like, what is the solution to theft prevention? You take your stuff. So how did he not know that they were going to take my stuff or not call the shots to remove my stuff? You know what I mean? Regardless, Something doesn't I, make sense there. I think, I think he intentionally didn't answer you and that's just yes up. yes i agree like obviously creators are very busy mm -hmm. and not that like creators are better than staff but obviously staff is there to organize and help creators and if you're having an active conversation with someone yeah and they just stop answering you and your shit gets taken and you don't know where anything is yeah or, no i was a ball of anxiety it was bad so odd it just, like, it may not sound like the biggest deal in the world, but, like, it felt like it was one of those things where it was one guy that was layering more and more and more and more, like, just scenarios at me to make me feel more and more anxious, and nothing was getting solved in the right way, the mature way, the clear-cut way. So I was just left to feel very, very powerless, very sad, very, like, clueless, you know? <laughs> like... <laughs> Guy, I will say, I at least at TwitchCon U, I met a lot of really, really nice and really amazing uh, convention staff. Oh. But there was one lady who was a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm But like... <laughs> Wait, this happened to you? No. Mm, don't worry about it. I'll tell you the details later, but it's not yeah. so crazy. I was going to say, like, you, didn't, you didn't go. Oh, TwitchCon U. Oh, yeah. right. Okay. There are a lot of, like, good staffers. Uh -huh. They just need to find a way to minimize the bad convention yeah. staffers. True. And it's unfortunate because some people might seem like good staff, and then as soon as they're like, oh, my God, I have power IRL. Like, it just gets to their yes. head real quick. That's yeah, they need felt. to have been um, in a position like that before yeah. to really be trustworthy. Yep. She was a crazy cat lady. I don't like to say this, but it was kind of like Karen vibes, you know? Yes, yes, yes. Actually, that was the meme with our booth. We called him an IRL Karen. <laughs> because I'm more than happy to <laughs> adhere to, like, fire hazard rules, you know? Yeah. But, like, yeah. the way he... The way he I'm like, oh, God, yeah. I just got IRL Karen. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry you went through that. I'm just glad I got my stuff and it's over with and, uh... Next year, uh, if there even is a next year, we'll see. Yeah. You know, things will be better. Oh. What? <laughs> Thank you for sharing. <laughs> I have the receipts too if you need them. I swear. Wait, hold on. Let me go grab my phone. I just need to like, I need to see this movie. It's not even like. Yeah. Oops. Imagine they like they're like watching and they're deleting. It's too late. I have the receipts even from Screenshot before. Yerp. <laughs> like Oh, I love this shit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> I'm not joking. W stop. Ayo. <laughs> But yeah, thanks guys for listening. I appreciate it. Oh, I accidentally moved it. Mm -hmm. I wish it said what time. What time? Cause, yeah, because I bet this was like really... Oh yeah, it was all late. Super late. Yeah. Wait, there's no time? 
No. It just says the date if it's not the same no. day. That's you lame. Know? Oh, yeah, no. It was definitely a lot of time in between. <laughs> I promise. But, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, just tell me. Like, why? <laughs> Bad vibes. I For me, know. it was mainly the in-person thing that I felt was kind of Oh, yeah, no, no. Rude. No, it was rude. Know. It was rude, for sure. My sister was like, no, for me. I'm like, okay, I'm not overreacting. My sister was there. Because my sister and I, we actually butt heads. Because I'm like the sensitive one. Yeah. And she's like the more hardcore logical one. So mm -hmm. if, um, for, for me to have like my sister's validation in that moment, mm -hmm. I felt like good. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. But yeah. That was my Twitch drama. <laughs> Hopefully, that'll never Twitch happen again. Drama. <laughs> Twitch drama. Twitch drama. Did anything else happen to TwitchCon? Um, honestly, just the parties after that, and I only I only went to one, but it was oh, actually mm -hmm. went to two. OTD hundred T. Yeah. Good time. Yeah, both of them were amazing. Super chill, super awesome. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I mean, I told you, mm -hmm. but I didn't tell. Did you tell Stream yet about the fan that was outside? No. Oh my I wasn't god. Sure if I could. No. Like, yeah, you definitely okay, could you because it was it. crazy. You say it? It's not my. But basically, person. okay. So apparently, people had their phones stolen at the Hundred Thieves party. Oh, do you know no. if that's true? Oh. Um. Okay, so there was like two parts to the Hundred Thieves party. At least the one that the the one I went to, the Juvie one, mm -hmm. the one celebrating Nate Shot's like mm -hmm. new um, drink. But yeah, <clears throat> so there's like an upper floor and then there's a bottom floor. And then the bottom floor is just like kind of like close friends and mm -hmm. streamers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then the upper floor, I think, was like also streamers, but also everyone. I see. Yeah, so... And then more exclusive bottom floor. More basically. exclusive bottom floor, but to be honest, both were really lit. Like if we wanted a more like crazy vibe, we go upstairs. If we wanted a more like just chill, small, private mm -hmm. vibe, we go downstairs. Okay. If we're like overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was the layout, and um, I could definitely see phone thievery. Phones were theft prevented. So <laughs> did you have to leave your phone, or were people just stealing no, them no? I think randomly? people were leaving them in their butt pockets or something, and then mm. people would just you know come by and go. Shoop. That's weird. It is weird. And speaking of like phone thieves, they must have come from like outside. Yeah. And I think what I was gonna tell you guys is I actually witnessed a guy try to um, bribe. The security or the bouncer, bouncers, mm -hmm. that's what it's called, tried to bribe the bouncer with a thousand dollars just to get in because he was seeing a Guys, lot of this creators. This is my only chance to meet Arya Saki. No, please, I'll give you a thousand dollars, bro. It was crazy. I was like, I can't believe that I'm witnessing this. He's like, I got, I got, he's like, I got 1k cash on me right now. I got, I got this cash on me right now. And then the bouncer goes, I don't do cash. I don't do it like that. No, no cash Honestly, here. Honestly, props to that. Yeah, pro yeah. I mean, to be fair, though, like, everyone was, like, out, like around. Mm -hmm. If he took the money, he'd probably get in, in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Bitcoin only. <laughs> no. no. You know, mm. one of my friends told me that a, yeah. a guy tried to pay him yeah. to get us to meet up, even, like, over Zoom. He's like, <gasps> yeah. He was like, if you want to take cash, I'll pay you in Bitcoin. I just want to meet her. Oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah. Probably the same guy, bro. And <laughs> at least my friend actually told me, but it makes me wonder, like, what goes on behind the scenes that you never even hear of? True. True, true, Some true. Some dudes are crazy. And this guy was, like, a CEO of a company. <gasps> that's all I'll say. Yeah. I mean, that's how he's what? got the money to do shit like that. Oh, Jesus. Weird. That is weird. That is weird. <laughs> Got Bribe sales and left oil. Right. <laughs> yeah. Young Fika. Thanks for the six months. Yeah. So the bribing, I saw that. I witnessed that. And then Thanks for the fitty. I wonder if like what it was is you know how like early bird gets the worm type situation where like 
maybe right when the party started they're like okay wait it's like kind of empty let's fill it up with i guess people who just have that have badges or oh, people that want to come because yeah. i did see a lot of people that weren't streamers mm-hmm. or i didn't i like i could tell like they were just going around being like can i get a pic and i get a pic and i'm like okay okay when i see a person that's like at the party and they're just constantly asking for photos worrying about photos more than networking or like getting to know a person i'm like okay you're probably a guest or like a community person or something yeah. i didn't check their badge but i knew they had like the string around him but when i saw that i was like okay that's my assumption is that maybe they came early mm-hmm. but yeah it's very on brand though <laughs> someone thieving at 100 thieves okay yeah no actually i'm pretty surprised did you see um that clip about that one guy that paid subs to go into a party. Turns out it was like super out of context. <gasps> you haven't seen it? That's what that's what people are saying, 50 subs. <laughs> so there's this guy, it's guys, it's super clipped out of context, turns out. But anyways, the it the out of context clip blew up and the guy labeled it as if like a creator um wanted to only allow people that were like you know, a huge supporter in that way, mm-hmm. like gifting subs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, you're saying he was saying that he had a party for only people who gifted? Well, no, it was out? like an interaction with this guy. Like, I guess he was about to get kicked out or something. And then he was like, but I gifted 50 subs. And then he was like <laughs> actually considering like, okay, wait, yeah, that's okay. But turns out he lied and he actually only gifted 25 subs. So he's like, no, not now you out. But then the clip suggested that because he didn't pay the 50 or because he lied or just in general, like, not enough subs or, Mm -hmm. like, the money wasn't enough, that he'd be booted. Okay. So it looks really bad for the creator because it's, like, you know. Yeah. It makes him look like an asshole. But how is it out of context? Because apparently... Like, a few... like a few minutes, 50 gifted. Yeah, but before before that, he was explaining to that group of boys Mm -hmm. that... They were already at capacity, and then he mm-hmm. was just kicking out people he didn't know. And oh, I, to I me, that's fair because it's like, yeah. imagine a house party getting out of hand. Imagine people showing up uninvited. Like a lot of people, not just that group, were showing up uninvited. Mm-hmm. So he was just live streaming, I guess, that portion of kicking, like starting to kick people out. I suppose, but it's it's in, in my opinion, it's like very valid because you know it's it's your house or it's your rental or you have to like be responsible at the end of the day was this on lsf or something like i i want to i want to say so only because it blew up on twitter oh like, it was on twitter yeah it was on that i I, I saw it on twitter it's the guy you shit talked on your alt twitter about gambling oh my god it's the same guy that's really crazy. Well, I I didn't shit talk him. I kindly <laughs> responded to mm-hmm. an opinion he had. Yeah. With a counter opinion. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All good. Anyways, I don't know the details of this clip, but it sounds I, yeah. like very TwitchCon. Yeah. yeah, it was it was really crazy. Very very crazy. <laughs> Have you been to? Did you go to VidCon? No, I never been. Lily told me about it. I'm always curious, what is VidCon like in comparison to TwitchCon? Lily told me it was all TikTokers. Yeah. And it's all, like, youngins. Oh, my God. Two people said Arya, my queen, at the same time. And they said it differently. You love to see it. Thanks. <laughs> said, mm, thanks. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I just wonder if people are, like, extra parasocial at... At VidCon? No, at TwitchCon. At TwitchCon. In comparison. Ooh. Hard to say. I feel like YouTube has like that younger audience that's mm-hmm. like more yeah. dedicated. Little... Dedicated, yeah. But in a way, like they're more parasocial maybe online, but not so much in person. Probably. I'm not going to lie. In person, sometimes I worry about female streamers and stuff. Oh, yeah. No, for sure. Do you know, mm. do you feel like it's gotten better over the years or worse? Okay, for this TwitchCon, I will say better, but I don't know if it's better because it's like the first con after COVID, you know what I mean? So I guess either there are a lot less or people, I don't know, you would think that like COVID would make someone more socially awkward, right? But somehow I felt like I've had more pleasant interactions. interactions? Oh, this TwitchCon, I don't know what happened. It did feel a lot better. I did, I mean, I still had 
a couple weirdos. <laughs> a couple. Like, maybe maybe three. Uh-huh. But then I remember my last TwitchCon, I had, like, ten. <laughs> so The odds are better. I yeah. Think, I feel like more girls went this year. Which yes! <gasps> maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. True, true, true. True. Improvement, yes. Sorry, I keep thinking about... um. Orbiters. That's my greatest fear. I call them hover hand, hover Andes. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what, I, but you know what I'm talking about. I don't know yes. what words to use. Sometimes there are certain fans mm-hmm. that want to stay around you, and mm-hmm. so they like they'll like ask you for a photo or whatever, but then they'll just stay near you, mm-hmm. and then if you move, they'll move. <laughs> oh. That kind of thing. Yeah, lingers. Please don't do that. That is I not one. okay. I, yeah. Yeah, it was weird. This this year. Yeah. What happened? Well, he just he just came up to my booth, mm-hmm. and he was like kind of starstruck. Why are they always called Andy? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know the meme. It's just a term people on Twitch use. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Go on. No, all good. He he literally he he was too stunned to speak. So that was like already kind of weird because it's like um uh you know like he, I'm. We are looking at each other, but he's not talking, and he's mm-hmm. making it very obvious that he has nothing to say. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, and then um, I think he muttered a compliment, and then he just walked over to the side of my booth, and he just chilled there the whole time. So then... At, what is the whole time? Like, maybe 10 minutes, which is long for, like, you know, the interaction itself. Like, <laughs> being in my bubble for that long, you know? So I'm like, okay, this is weird, especially for having said nothing. So it was weird. So then I look over to him after 10 minutes and I'm like, can I help you? <laughs> Literally, I said that. Can I help you? And he goes, oh no. And he again compliments me, says something nice. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> like I was hoping that that like, especially in that tone too, I was like, okay. <laughs> I was hoping he would get that like, all right, now what? Or all right, move along. Because you're contributing to the fire hazard problem but um yeah no may i help you i'm about to say that to people who look yeah. at me too long in person may i help you? Yeah. <laughs> I, I like the may i it's like it's, it's polite <laughs> but the tone is not polite yeah it's a little it's a little scary to be fair that's not that bad like for no. me the super bad versions are where they just like follow you from place to place yeah, Lily true. has that iconic story. You want to tell? You tell the story. Ooh. It's a good fucking story. Wait, which one? You know the one where the guy went all the way with you guys to like oh, a hotel. To the hotel. <laughs> Bitch, what wait, the fuck? wait. The funny thing is, I was there. I know. That's why you gotta tell the story. This is oh the my iconic. Gosh. The iconic orbiting story. Guys. Yes, 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 yes. Just, so there was this one guy, and he's like, the thing is, like, okay. He was like a shy Asian boy, and and he had like I think he had glasses. I don't remember, but I just remember he he just he I don't know. He just seemed really shy and very sweet and like very quiet. Mm-hmm. So we're just like okay, it's whatever. He came from Lily's like one of Lily's lines where she was just like you know saying hi to people and stuff. But then the way he hung out with us, the way he chilled, he was like this. He was he was like he was hands in the pocket and he was leaning back a bit. So he kind of looked like he was like. <laughs> Their I'm conviction, the yeah, exactly. Yeah. He looked relaxed because yeah. usually, it, like, long. yeah, usually when people hover, they're like, you know, they're a little nervous. Yeah, they're, they're a little they're like, at an awkward yeah. distance because they're for them they're probably processing whether or not it's okay. Yeah, you know. But this guy, hands in the pocket, he leaning was back, in. he was, yeah, yeah, he was in. Like he wasn't, he wasn't even shaking. So I was just like, okay, all right. I didn't say anything. My friend didn't say anything. Lily's friends didn't say anything. And then he, this guy ends up he following just us. Assimilated. Yeah, and he followed us everywhere, literally everywhere. And then <laughs> even everywhere. into the hotel. Oh well. So the details I don't remember, but we did go from like booth to booth, mm-hmm. and we went from like literally the like exhibition hall to the artist alley, from the artist alley to the back to the exhibition hall. Like, he he literally came everywhere. And then to the hotel. And then we even walked to the hotel. And by the way, we were very clear that we were leaving the con too. We were all like, hey guys, like let's, you know, let's let's all like maybe rest up at the hotel or like um, let's go chill. Go chill for a bit before we head out to dinner. Yeah. Like I remember it was like a whole day thing. Mm-hmm. And then he's like in our hotel room, he's chilling. <laughs> and then- <laughs> Sorry, I cannot believe you guys. <laughs> 
Yeah. Had a random fan chilling with you in your hotel. Yes. And no one noticed. No, so like. <laughs> it's. <all, yeah. laughs> Something about that is just. That's iconic, honestly. I think what it was too was like the pick of people that, like me, Lily, we're all introverted. <laughs> We did not have a single extrovert in our group. So Big no one. Yeah, yeah, so no one was like. In the room, y'all. In the fucking room. Did yeah. he like lay down? What was he doing? So, okay. No, no. I think he 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 actually sat at the corner of the bed. Mm. But to be fair, when you fit like 10 people in a hotel room, mm-hmm. like that's kind of the play. Mm-hmm. So yes, at some point he did get comfy and he did sit his tushy on the corner of the bed. So I was like, mm, he belongs. He's tushy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. So I'm just like, okay, yeah. And then I remember, I think it was, was it? One one of our friends pulled me aside and was like, by chance, do you know that guy? <laughs> and I'm like, no, I thought he was your friend. <laughs> and he was like, oh, mm, we got to talk to Lily. And then he. And he, Lily's he, like, I have no idea. Who yeah, you know. Lily's like, I thought it was one of your friends. <laughs> And it became a chain reaction. And I kid you not, it was probably at this point he knew. Yeah. He was like, oh, I've yeah. been caught. Yeah, been pretty caught much. <laughs> so it was around that time where he was like, okay. Oh, I think I'm pretty sure we, because uh, I'm, I'm, he didn't go come to dinner with us. Mm-hmm. So I'm pretty sure that's how he like, we told him off or he kind of removed himself. Was mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, d- dinner? <laughs> yeah, like, oh, all right, I'm not going. Yeah, or have fun guys. He, he caught on. Well, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. That's nice, Elise. <laughs> that's too funny, dude. Yeah, but I do think our, it was our group of people that were yeah. all, like, just too shy and, or, like, we no, don't care I don't, enough. I don't even think he was, he probably was not very malicious about it because he didn't know anything malicious. No, he didn't give it's us those so vibes. It's so funny yeah. that he's, you know, he just assimilated in. No one noticed. I think it was also... Early on with our friendships too, we were just meeting people online for the first time as well. Mm-hmm. So uh, those friendships were just like, you know, one or two years old yeah. uh, instead of now we're like, you know, seven year old friends. Mm-hmm. So it's different. So back then when it's like more new, we're more open to like meeting other people's friends yeah. and like it, it was like. You're just letting everybody in. Yeah, we're letting no everyone worries. in. Yeah, exactly. With no now, worries. OTV and friends and everybody has gone through so yeah. many. Now we, we have like now the biggest like we have walls. seven filters. Yeah, filters, Nor. walls, Nor. security, you know, we're, <laughs> our defenses are up. <laughs> Is there anyone that you feel has been, mm-hmm. no, that's, I shouldn't ask. What happened? Anyways. <laughs> Girl, you can't do that. No, I'm being dramatic. You, you get used, do, does your community know this of you? Like, do you, do you do this a lot? Do what? Where you, like, tease, and then you're like, oh, never mind, I can't. <laughs> Yes. No. Because, but I, on God, it's unintentional. Like, there's okay. some shit that I want to talk about, and I'm like, I shouldn't. Because, Ooh. like, you guys see the crazy fucking articles out oh, there. Oh, true, I true, gotta true. Be true. Actually, I have a very, very crazy story with. Yeah, but I can't because I'd be giving them power. So, I know what you mean. so, I feel like there needs to be a statute of limitations, you know, where you're like, okay, maybe I can talk about it in like five years mm-hmm. i definitely will one day but some people get real crazy <sighs> some people have been real crazy True. okay fuck it i'm gonna just say because i don't think it's that deep you can right. tell me if it's like we shouldn't all right what i was gonna say is yeah i feel like now we have a lot of filters in place yeah. but i feel like there are certain people mm-hmm. a couple like literally two that okay. have, that are affiliated with our friend group. Okay. That I wish weren't anymore. Now that I know much more about them. Ooh. Obviously they're not super <laughs> affiliated, but now it's like, you're like, uh, I'm going to I'm I'm eat a pineapple. It's one of those people that like, mm, that, guys, obviously no one in OTV and no one that you see me hang out with at, ever. Mm. But right, we have like such a large mm-hmm. friend group now. Mm-hmm. It's True. people that like I've become very, very sus of with good reason. Mm-hmm. And I'm kind of just waiting <laughs> for them to fuck up hard enough for me to be able to cut them off. You know? I feel that. <laughs> no, I feel that. I feel it. I feel Guys, that. no one that you mentioned, I promise. I promise. Yep. 
there, for me, I'm I'm definitely a person where I don't want anyone to dislike me, but at the same time, there are people where I'm like, ooh, I, I you know, I don't have, I, I don't want to be nice to you even. Like, <laughs> I know, I know some things. So yeah, no, it's, it Sometimes I wish I didn't know so much. That's same, the other issue. Same. Same is true. It's like, obviously, everybody has flaws, right? But there are only a couple people that I am legitimately, not legitimately, I am a little bit concerned about platforming. So I personally don't platform mm. them. Yeah. I'm just sus about them. So I'm waiting for them to either check out as for sure bad or for sure good. Yeah. I don't know. But I feel like you're not sus about anyone to that extent, are you? I am more of the, you know, hey, we all make stupid mistakes and I hope we can learn from them and no, I you know, agree. I hope that they become a changed person and you know. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to lie, I am like that. But something I'm more so of is if they've directly hurt like someone I know, then I'll make sure that I'm like, okay, what you did is like unforgivable. And then I'll talk to the person. And I'll be like, do you hate this person? They're like, yes. I'll be like, all right. Now I have more reason to have my guard up with them. For me, it's never about like drama or like making a little mistake here and there. It's like their character. To be frank, it's always about like. What is it about? If I feel mm -hmm. like you have a chance of like disrespecting a girl. <gasps> yeah, that's my Whoa, biggest Oh, yours is deep. Yeah. Only because I know, like, when you're a streamer, yeah. it's so easy for people to look up to you. Yeah. And when girls look up to you, that, like, it's really easy to be into in a bad, bad, bad dynamic. Hmm. But, yeah. Obviously, no one very close to us. It's, like, very, very peripheral. Sheesh. Just people I'm unsure about. You know, it's like little squint eye emoji. We'll see. We'll see how you pan out. I see. Yeah. I see. <laughs> I shouldn't talk about it. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. It's all good. We can talk about it later. <laughs> yeah, we can. I can't wait <laughs> for our dinner? next meal. Yes. <laughs> yeah, lunch. Yeah, we can grab lunch, 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 lunch. Hell yeah. That's spicy. Again, guys, no one, no one close, close to us. Like, no one that you could guess in my chat right now. Mm -hmm. It's just people that have, like, woven in and out of the friend group right. that you see. Like, they want to be a part. I'm like, mm, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. But then, what if they play the persona card on you? What's the persona card? Or like, I thought this was cool, so I was an idiot. And I acted this way because I thought it was cool. It was a persona. Because I've actually gotten that card on me before. What happened? I called out some weird behavior mm -hmm. in like a nice way, obviously. I'm like, hey, like, kind of weird that mm -hmm. you did that. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. And then they responded back with, yeah, I'm just playing up this personality. I'm seeing now that it's actually like kind of stupid. But yeah, mm, lapse in judgment. Well, so what do you... Did they say sorry? They did. But it was like, it was like a, oof, this persona didn't work, you know? It wasn't like a, it wasn't like a, oh, a deep down I know this is bad, yeah. you know? So that's why I'm like, eh. I, I would just note, um, mm -hmm. sociopath. Oh. <laughs> and, you yeah. know. It's true. I just categorize them like that. Imagine using a persona to, like, get reactions, but, like, you're actually hurting people's feelings and you're okay with it low-key. Yeah, because, and he's like, uh -huh. shit, dude, guess I should pretend to be someone else. I don't know. Kind of weird. That's a lot of work. A lot I, of masks. <laughs> I, I I think it's just, you know, there are certain people that you can have as, like, work friends, certain people that, you know, as, like, really good, actual close friends. Yeah. What I mention is just people that I am worried about platforming. I mean, especially uh, as you've seen all the stuff that came out recently. True, That's true. something I started thinking about recently. Obviously, true. if someone ever did something really bad, yeah, you know, I'd be like... But some people I'm just a mm, little sussy about, I guess is what I mean. Especially when, what if these things do come out and you genuinely didn't know? But saying you didn't know looks really obnoxious too, you know what I mean? Because like, because you've platformed them or because you've supported mm -hmm. them so hard mm -hmm. in the past. Yeah, no, I'm not going to lie. I have an issue. I, I, I love, I just, 
I'm like word bombing all the time on Twitter. I love complimenting people. I love yeah. like gassing people up when they like do something really cool or accomplished in my eyes. And I'm like, wow, cool. Like I can't help it. But sometimes what if I'm complimenting people that are like, you know, sus? I can't help but feel like, oh gosh, it's not like I... I, I don't it's not that seat, think you but... should be expected to know everything about right. everyone that you tweet at. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. True. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> are you too pure for this world? You are very, like, oh God. bright-eyed, giving. Uh, I just wish the, the world were more simple like that, you know? Like, why can't... It, it can't just all be heavy. <laughs> easier this way yeah but it is hopium (laughs) to be fair i do i think our friend group does a great job at upholding a high standard oh yeah yeah like if someone does mm, most of the time someone does some fuck shit Mm -hmm. we'll do something about it or at least we won't take it mm, we won't like make a ton of drama out of it i think we've learned a lot from the past (laughs) it's all (laughs) no. <laughs> True. Do you ever think about writing a tell-all? All the time. Me too, man. All the time. At oh least my we gosh. get to share stuff with each other. That's how True, it is. true. But, oh God, maybe when we're, like, retired. Yeah. And there's nothing to lose. Maybe. We could I've, do a group yeah. one. <laughs> I've seen, like, K-pop stars, too, that do that. <gasps> really? Yeah. Link me one. I want to read. It's crazy. No, she's, she even gave her members different names. And it, apparently, fans that read the book, I haven't read it personally, can tell which is, which. Which is who is who and which is which, yeah. That's spice. Yeah. That's very spice. Yeah. I'm ta- yeah, Jessica. Yes, some people know. I was talking about Jessica's. Jessica? Yeah. Which, I haven't read which, it myself. Which Jess? Oh, From um, SNSD. SNSD, yeah. yeah. She, like, yeah, she's, like, completely removed and prefers that people don't refer her to, like, you know, that group name even. Oh. Yeah. It's very interesting. I have no idea what to think. I haven't read the book myself, personally. But it is true that, like, these tell-alls are, like, a thing. I feel like there are so many <clears throat> things that are just weird enough that I want to share them because it's like, wow, I can't believe this is a real thing. Mm-hmm. But also, obviously, every time you share something publicly, it turns into a thing. True, true. So it's like that trade-off. True. It's like, um... When people were like, oh my god, say the staff name. Like, this person has already been reprimanded behind the scenes. If she were to say it publicly, like... It's just... It's just gonna make it worse. Yeah. Yeah. It wouldn't do anything, really. Yeah. And I'm also, like, confident, or I'm lucky enough to know that not many people will know his name Mm -hmm. off the bat. I could be wrong. Mm, You just who Megalotha? Well, he's not he he's not a creator. He's not like a you know, he's all mine. That's what I'm saying. Come on in. <laughs> but yeah. Um, what else do you guys want to hear us talk about? Especially Arya. Ask us anything. Got all the Twitch contees out of the way. I mean, I'm sure you've talked about the foam pit. You talked about I didn't know what to really say because I, oh. I was I was like mm, whoever was in charge of that was probably fired. <laughs> I didn't know what else to say. Oh no, that's crazy. <laughs> More TwitchCon stories. You got any other good stories? Um, let me see. Well, yeah, I no, I kind of kept to myself mostly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, TwitchCon or oh, OTV booth was crazy cool. Uh, I it wish was I got so to see cool. It. It was I saw amazing. The photos. It looked amazing. Yeah, I'm just. Uh, oh, <clears throat> TwitchCon felt more like E3 this year. Ooh, yeah, because the boots were really nice. Yeah, the boots were just really, really, really big, really well decorated. Like mm-hmm. they've expanded in that regard, and like the lighting too is like kind of dim. But then um, every booth had its oh, own yeah. like you know I LED RGB. Shit. Yeah, or yeah, it it looked really cool. It felt like E3. Did Saikuno actually get kicked out or no? I heard he just got told to, like, move. Oh. I was told. I don't think he got kicked out. I think he just got... Maybe he got, like, kicked out of that spot more so. Oh, okay. Like, they didn't tell him Not that. actually the whole place. Right? Yeah, no. I don't think he actually got kicked out of the whole place. But, <laughs> yeah. 
Do you understand the whole fire hazard thing? My understanding is that there needs to be adequate space for people to panic and run. So if you are kind of grouped up. panicking and running towards their creators. Yeah. Or just in general, if you're like clogging up the space and there's not enough room to go both directions, Mm -hmm. that's when people are like, oh, this is a fire hazard. Yeah, but then people are like, oh yeah, but if I'm on fire, I'm not going to be like (laughs) around other people or, you know. And I'm like, I don't think... They mean it as li- like literally like on fire hazard. Yeah. It's more so just for the exit routes, I, I think. I <laughs> <clears throat> That's funny. <laughs> but yes, 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 yes. Yeah, it's to stop people, people from being, being trampled. trampled. I can see that I too. Think that is so tough though. Like how do you allow creators to walk around and take photos with people mm-hmm. without creating massive lines? I actually don't know what the solution would be. Okay. Kind of, I mean, they already did the meet and greet thing. What do you mean? Like, you know, hosting those meet and greets, that takes up a lot of good space and is like on the coordinated side so that it doesn't feel like that. But the mm-hmm. o- the issue is that there are too many creators. Yeah. <laughs> so if it were up to me, they had this whole space for getting badges which i understand Mm -hmm. but then i think they should repurpose the space and turn it into like a meet and greet like place afterwards and then move the the ticketing could be a little confusing Mm -hmm. but i just remember where you pick up your badges is so big and when i went there was like no one in the line because i got my badge a little later so i was wondering like maybe they just need to use their space a little better but I mean, I don't think creators want to go to another place to do a meet and greet. I just mean like sometimes you're walking the floor uh, and true. someone's like, hey, can I have a photo? And someone else like, hey, can I have another one? And then all of a sudden there's 10 people waiting. Yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah, true. It's kind of hard. I guess maybe they should just have staff that when they see that happen, they'll just cap the line at a certain point so it doesn't get massive. <laughs> that sounds know. like policing. That sounds like anyone with a line is going to like It's better than go going there to, to the break creator and being like, you're being a fire hazard. Oh no! True, true. You know, I do. Just be like, yeah. Hey, just so you know, like, yeah. um, I'm gonna cut this line at this person. Yeah. And no, I do. I do wish. Say, hey guys, this person has a meet and greet up. Whatever. Yeah. And that's it. I do wish it was more so on capping the line and like approaching the people asking rather than yeah. on the creator. Is a pizza. Is a pizza. <laughs> that's not bad, but that that would require a lot of people <laughs> on the floor. I mean, I think they already have people. True. True, 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 true. True. Sorry, the streamer is closed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, kind of. <laughs> yeah, true. I don't really know what else to talk about. I've been talking since 10 a.m. Girl. Yeah, but it's been a good time. It's been a while, you know? Gucci, Gucci. Yeah. Was there food at the con? Right? I don't think so. I don't remember there being food. And I was told that it was like a, there was going to be a concession thing. What does minus five mean? I don't know. It's minus five. Huh? What's minus five? What's minus five? Oh, it's the elevated messages that you can't see. So there's this thing that you can buy, I think. Huh? You can pay five dollars to have your message <gasps> show up bigger. What? But it doesn't work. <laughs> so people pay the five. Hey yo, Twitch staff, you still here? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gotta. Are you here? Turn this? it off or fix it. Do not oh, do this no. in between shit. Uh, oh, so then when oh, people not s- bigger, it's under the stream. <laughs> Oh, that's even funnier. Oh my god. So when people Where is it? So when people see it, they're just memeing on the fool. That yeah. They're like, "Haha, you paid $5 and she can't even see it." No. That's crazy. You guys have to support one another. How, why $5 minus $5 when it could be minus $5 and then the message. True. Why aren't you guys copy pasting the message yeah. to help? You guys rather make That's fun of That's the most of, internet shit I've ever seen. Ha <laughs> ha. Instead of helping someone. 
You'll see someone dying be like, better film this. Yeah. Like, Call the fucking police. <laughs> yes. They are that tight. Wait, the message is minus 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> where do you want to eat i don't know i love the food around this area so there's a place nearby that you're gonna fucking love okay let's go okay okay, okay. <laughs> let's go at like two in like okay. i'm down i'm down, down, down do you have any goals upcoming anything you're excited about um <laughs> <laughs> what oh. go into a place did you tell them I didn't tell them about us. Oh. Mm. So that you can tell them. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, we're going to New York. Mm-hmm. Again. Mm-hmm. But this time smaller group. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So OTV is going for like three days. But then I'm going to stay for another like five days with Aria. For me. Yeah. Yeah. But also if you want to come earlier and stay with OTV, you probably could. Think about it. I could. I could. I real could. But I think for me, I... Mm. You want to do stuff beforehand? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you guys probably have shoots and stuff, right? No. It's just for fun. A couple people have a couple things to do. Right. It'll be like an hour, and it's not me. Oh. Yeah. Actually, I will consider that. Okay. Maybe talk to Lily. I will. <gasps> Vet. Lily's thinking of not going. Nani. Girl, don't do it. I think it's because we there's need... a lot going on. Yeah, I know. She said she's traveling a lot. But, like, bro, we need a trip where we all go. True. And this was it. Everyone was supposed to go. True. So I hope she will go. Unsure currently. But, yeah, talk to her about it. <laughs> Maybe she'll go if you go. She'll be extra incentivized. True. I will bug her. But, to be fair, I'm not... My dates are not even with OTV right now well if you want to go earlier I will ask if I can even change my ticket (laughs) could I stay with you or as soon as I hear about my hotel yeah Yeah. okay I'm just this is kind of you know we have two small girls and we fit in the bed for sure I hope I hope it's a small bed so then we have to cuddle that's crazy (laughs) anyways um yeah no my goal for New York mainly is to try more mid upscale restaurants because i've, I've been I going say, like, i want to try more mid oh no not i was like oh. count me out bro oh, girl. <laughs> that listen. word is, is no <laughs> listen. i didn't mean it like that <laughs> i i do need to say the last time we went it was really fucking fun yeah but we kind of didn't plan shit we didn't we didn't book any sick restaurants no oh there's a good one i think it's called ugly baby i think you'll love it i think it's Thai? Ugly baby? Why yeah. is it called ugly baby? But we need a book ahead of time. Okay. And apparently it's it's fire. And I feel like, okay. I, th- I just think you would really enjoy I it. I do like Thai food. Mm-hmm. I do. Okay. 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 Oh, someone said it's so good. Yay. Oh, sold. Um, you. Yeah, we need to book some shit. Mm-hmm. A lot of shit. Book all the poop. Yes, all the poop. Because I think the best restaurants, you have to book ahead of time anyway. Right. Right. I did want to try more because uh, the, it, it's TikTok. TikTok keeps on yeah, teasing me with all know. these compilations. And I've never been. I um, know so much. Yeah. I've only had like, you know, those those dollar slice pizzas. And, you know, I love Aww. fleshing. I mean, I love cheap food. Yeah. But I, I did that all of the last trip. So this yeah. trip, I want to focus more on like, you know, like you said, <gasps> stuff we can reserve. Yeah, let's do some Ooh. like luxurious places. Oh, yeah. We went to this and it was this much and um, you know yeah that'll be really pretty and pictures I yes. want I want cool pictures cause your girl <laughs> has been a little lacking in that department so I would like some cool like you know New York has those beautiful brick buildings you know what I mean that New York aesthetic bitch shut the fuck up anytime someone wants to take a photo of you you're like no 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 I can't because Humpty Dumpty fell on the roof <laughs> like the most <laughs> random shit Sorry, I can't. The moon is in retrograde. Don't take my photo. What? What? No, I. It, this is true. The way I say no to things, I'll say no, and then I'll like insert a random fact to like 
you know, blow the conversation over. No, that's literally how I how I respond. Listen, I want you to have nice photos. I want nice photos. How are we yeah. gonna make it happen? Okay. Well, okay. Okay. No. No. Do you want? I'll bring a tripod. No, it's fine. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you like know me too well. I, I have, know. I have this thing where she like has, she she wants to do it her way. Yeah. No. I'm gonna be honest though. I'm not a professional at like taking photos. I would love to get better, but I know the standard Arya wants like. As much as I want to help, it ain't me. Guys, what does the message say? Stop saying. Have y'all seen the dammer, da, dammer, dammer? <gasps> Aria, it was nice meeting you. I haven't. I'm too scared. I watched half an episode and it was very scary for me. <laughs> they said it was nice meeting oh, you. Have you seen the Jeff I, I know, show? I know. I, I remember I remember you. Yes. He, he trolled me saying, I'm. he's like, yeah, I love your radiant gameplay streams. I'm like, mm. <laughs> But yeah. Freaking, I, ugh. so uh, I went to like a really, really tiny kickback last night, mm -hmm. like a really small one. And on the, on the screen was an ad kickback. for that show, mm -hmm. like a dot, the Dahmer or whatever. Yeah. I don't know his name, but either way, Edison was like, Oh, have you guys, have you, have you seen this or mm -hmm. something like that? And then Newt goes, uh, no, I go, who is that? And Newt goes, a famous musician. And I'm like, oh, it's a musician. Like, I'm just like, yeah. That's like, me I'm, as fuck. Yeah, I'm feeling it. And then Edison's like, yeah, he's a musician. Musician. So everyone's clowning on me like he's a musician. <laughs> and I'm actually fully sold that this guy is a musician. And then I look at Edison and I'm like, I give him the, are you sure? You know, and then he, he just looks at me. He goes, and I'm like, what does he do? And then Edison's like this. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm thinking Edison. He jacks people off. <laughs> no! What the? It's clearly a knife! Come on, man! Oh my god, that's some aggressive. Anyways, we're not, we're not, we're not, no, we're not going there. Isn't it 2 p.m. soon? Okay, that's crazy. That's crazy. You got 10 more minutes of torture, uh, don't worry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> actually, probably. Actually, you're right. Wait. Yeah. Mm, yeah. That joke had layers. Have you seen the episodes? No, I haven't watched it. Why would I watch it? Crazy. I'm literally the last person to be watching stuff like that. I can listen to it. If it was a podcast, mm. I love listening to like any any horror stuff. Because, yeah, the words, I don't mind. But like the visuals. Ooh. Yeah, maybe I'll nice. skip ahead and see if it gets more watchable. But I get very, well, I don't get very scared. Mm-hmm. I don't like watching things that yeah. are painful to watch, if that makes sense. Like gore? It's like if the storyline is interesting, mm -hmm. but yeah. if the whole time it's suspense and I'm oh, scared the person's going to die and yeah, I'm yeah, worried yeah, yeah. and I'm like, why are you going into this house? Why right. are you doing that? Like, I feel that. I'm just stressed the whole time. That doesn't feel good. But yeah, if it's like psychological thriller and then they kill them in a very intense way, I'm, I don't really mind that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not for suspense. <laughs> for sure. It's like painful kind of suspense. Mm -hmm. Not an exciting kind of suspense. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh man, yeah. People are saying it was uncomfortable to watch. Oh, exactly. I don't want to be uncomfortable while watching something. Is it because they reenact it really well, or they reenact it in a way that makes it like that? Well, it's kind of the whole thing is acting. Oh, I didn't yeah. know this. It's yeah, not like it's documentary. It's not a documentary. No, oh. the whole thing is acting more or less, okay. and it is very realistic. So it's almost like you're just watching a murder go down. Like you're watching someone meet someone at a club, go home, no think it's all okay, and then all of a sudden it's it's not okay. It's so really in not a okay. sense, that actually means that they did their job well. Yeah. Because that scenario is not yeah. is not a poggers thing, you know. Okay. <laughs> it's not a pogger. No. It's not poggers to get murdered. No, it really isn't. No. I've been trying really hard to stop saying poggers. Why is it too obnoxious for you now? Overdone? Because like if I if I want to be a well socialized human being, get out there in the world, and especially as I'm meeting people that don't know anything about Twitch, you throw a poggers true. in there. They That's look so at you true. like <laughs> what? I've done it before. I've most definitely said poggers before, unironically, and no, my me sister too. too. But yeah. the, the, I think the larger problem is then having to follow up and explain. Oh, I'm so sorry. I said poggers because yes, in my community, true. there's this emote, and it does this, and it's called poggers. And so sometimes you say, 
Like, I feel so what? attacked right now. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> I really had to think this through, though. I was like, I can't. I can't. I can't do this to myself. This is true. This is true. I'm trying to be out and about. I'm actually really excited to meet certain people in uh, in New York. <gasps> You're mean. Oh, wait. I'll tell you who later. Uh, yeah, I think I, uh, we, I have a couple, too. <laughs> yeah. I just, like, okay. YOLO hit them up. Hey. Yeah. It's going to be a really good time. But, you know, some of them aren't related to Twitch whatsoever. Yep. They, they couldn't tell you what a poggers is for the life of them. Oh, my God. I, yeah, maybe we can see Tarek. Maybe. Anyways, I, wasn't talk, I was talking about non-Twitch people. And if I let a poggers slip, <laughs> don't feel insecure about it. It's who you are. Maybe the convo gets someone into Twitch and it changes their lives. I don't want it to be who I am. <laughs> That's it. I don't. I don't want. I don't want my brain to just be poggers. I want to be more than that. <laughs> I want to be more than the little I, Pepe. Yes, I Please. want my brain to be more than poggers. And even that sentence is a little odd to say. I love that. <laughs> this is a new era for me. Yeah, I love that for you. Thank you. I'm not you. there yet, but I will. You be don't need someday. to be. It's okay. Someday. You can say poggers around me. I don't judge. I am just fearful of accidentally saying it around people right. that don't understand right no and i've i've had to have those conversations multiple times the explanation and how well. does it go is it sometimes okay or is it I, always I, like I, see the thing is i can't read their faces because for uh, it seems like they're interested but i can't <laughs> be i can't help but feel like a part of them is also like this girl is crazy <laughs> or like is this really what what is happening right now like she's <laughs> she's using the word that describes this green frog and <laughs> She's imagining the no, face I of this frog say every time. Green frog, I can't. Oh, why? I, I mean, what I mean is, I would probably say, "Oh, sorry, it's an emoji that me and my friends say." Oh. You know, but if I'm like, "It's an emote and it's a green frog and it goes like this," you know, <laughs> like that, you're, mm, you're doing a lot. I am doing too much. I am. That's literally my. That's my whole motto. Is I do too much. God damn it! I need to. I need to tone it down a couple notches, guys. <laughs> I I actually I do think you sometimes do too much for the wrong people. Ooh, yeah, it's it, a therapy session now. Does anyone in chat relate? I bet a lot of you guys do. You know what I think is the saddest part? <laughs> I actually think it's so sad that sometimes the less you do for people, the more they appreciate you. Like what? The, how does that even fucking make sense? This is true. Right? Yeah. This is true. The less you do for people, the more they appreciate you. And the more you do, sometimes the less they appreciate you. I'm not going to lie. Like, I genuinely felt like, well, TwitchCon was really nice because, you know, I got to see a lot of faces. I got to feel all that affection, affirmation yeah. again. Yeah. So I was like, ooh, wow, lovely. It's like charged me up. But when mm -hmm. I am depleted, I can't help but feel like, okay, I got to run away. So one time, that was what pushed me to go to Vegas. Mm -hmm. And I kid you not. When oh, I when moved, you to moved? Yeah, when I moved. Yuck. And I kid you not, though, when I moved, though, all of a sudden, everyone's like, I miss you, come back. I love you, come back. Mm. Oh, my God, where, like, it's not the same without you. And I'm like, where was this energy when I was already there? True. I don't hold it against them. In fact, it, <laughs> I thank them because, you know, ultimately, you did come I, back and, being yeah. around my friends is, is, is very important to me. And new friends are awesome too, but mm -hmm. there is something about like, you know, be close to my family school. too. Mm -hmm. Old school, yeah, and all yeah. that. It, there's multiple factors, but I, I am grateful. But still, you're right. When I left, I had Actually, a lot I've more Actually, I've noticed the same way. sometimes with online audiences. Like, mm -hmm. the more you do, the higher the bar is set <clears throat> for you. Uh huh. And sometimes the, it, it ends up just being unfair. Like, you unintentionally int yourself. I feel like I've yeah. done that for sure. But I'm trying to adjust now. Yeah? True, true. She is glowing. Oh, thank you. I'm not pregnant. Wait, speaking of glowing. I thought you were going to say speaking of pregnant. No. Good. How, how's your mouse? Girl. Oh, uh, the, the, Where that is it? mouse is for that screen. This mouse. What? Is it's a two PC setup. I've never done that. I didn't know you need two mice. I thought, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, it's so sensitive. Oh my god, you're a real gamer. <laughs> Wait. 
where how do i click on your your camera oh is that it is this I it i think so okay 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 no i want to try something mm -hmm. you can keep on talking it's, it's like the last couple minutes right oh you do have something oh Color but it, correction. it's a little something yeah oh okay, okay. Just, just i recommend it there we go, just a little more. Oh, I like that. Thank right? You. There we go. Just a little oh, more. Oh, she upped the saturation a bit. I upped you're the saturation. So nice. No, you're welcome. No, because I did it on Twitter. You're looking out for me, man. Of course. Oh. Yeah, I, I use like the Twitter filters and then I just like upped it a little. I'm like, mm, this looks, looks a lot more better. realistic and better, not washed out. And now you're, you're, you're right. Glow you're glowing. It shows my walking tan a little bit. Loves that. Mm -hmm. Loves that for you. Anyways. Oh. You don't need you don't need no chiropractor. You your own chiropractor. <gasps> Only when I stream, like I do this a lot. I don't know why. Oh yeah, true. I kind of like this chair. You can. What have is this? It. It's a Herman Miller. I I heard these things cost quite a bit. Yeah, that's why you can have it. Girl, I think I just like it because I like it forced or it like there's a guide for me to lean back. <laughs> it's like reminding. You look so funny. What? <laughs> If the weather was nicer in New York, would you move there? I would move to New York as is. I love New York. Really? Yeah. Actually, I know quite a few people that say the same thing. Same. Uh, a New York arc. I think I would do like a, a prolonged stay New York arc. Yeah. But I don't think I would move there. Like, I, I, would, I would live there for a month. All right, it was very nice to meet you, but I'm curious to know what you've done with the flowers because my friends were telling me you probably threw it away. No, 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 no. So, no, no, no. I did not throw them away. I, but I also, it's one of those things where I. She ate them. No. She actually sent me a video. No, no, no. I like drying my flowers. Oh, me too. Yeah. I love drying yeah. my flowers. Yes, 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 yes. But the one thing is like, it's, it's nice to receive like big gifts and stuff, but I feel like sometimes if I promote that I'm getting these big gifts, I'll get more big yeah. gifts. And it's really nice, thank you. But I, I don't want to like be like, hey guys, like I got this, I got this, I got this. And then people, it will incentivize them to like mm -hmm. give me more and more and more and more. And yeah, ultimately just making room for them, also feeling bad that I have like so much. And like, you know, it's just, uh, uh, that's why I say letters. Letters are nice. Small cards, letters, very sweet. Small I have a things. bit of a different take. Oh, okay. If you're going to meet me, I mean, gifts are always so freaking nice, right? But please don't give me anything that could potentially be seen as romantic. I feel like oh, flowers, yeah. unless you're like a cute little girl giving me flowers, that's fine. But I if you're a man giving me flowers, like don't do that. I can kind of see that too. I don't want to... Or anything else yeah. along those lines. But, like, when I went to TwitchCon EU, there were girls that made, like, custom keycaps for me. Or art. Yeah. Like, those kind of gifts are amazing. True. But... Mm, true, 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 true. Gay people exist. I trust gay people. <laughs> but, you know, if your intentions are romantic, just no, I don't give me flowers. I agree. I'm regardless the of the gender. But, obviously, mainly cats. It's not a BF getting mad thing. It's more like a, I don't want to also set the tone and or like give you false hope or any of that too. I don't know. Yeah. It's just more considerate on both ends if you just not. Hi, Pokey Lover. I was wondering where the mesh top and the pants are from. The mesh top, I don't recall. Is there a tag on this? It looked like it got chewed up. <laughs> it's gone. The mesh top, I don't know, but there's a there's a billion of these. It's a bodysuit. The pants are from three times. I love, love that brand. Beep, beep, boop, beep. Lunch time? <laughs> I'm down. Time for lunch. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. My favorite thing about being her friend is everything. Mm. Arya will legit kill for you if if you're her friend. Actually. She's very OP friend. If you ever need <laughs> anything, like she'll be there. She'll say when, five minutes. Dead ass. Today she was in my chat. I was like, you want to come over? She's like, she's there. If there was a dictionary definition of a down ass bitch, it would just be a photo of Arya. <laughs> 
Thank you. <laughs> this is true. A lot of people say that. They're like, she's the one that will take a bullet for you. I'm like, this is true. My we word. can do fit checks with New in New York. Oh, I'm down. We'll make one to TikTok. So that's you. what I mean. Like, I want to take photos. I want to be more, like, photo conscious. Yeah. I have no plans to stream, but I do have plans to do other kinds of content. I would love to raid Peter. Please go say happy, happy birthday. birthday. Did he? He took the TV out of his name, right? It's just Peter Park. Oh, I, I think so chat can someone confirm yes yes perfect okay thank you guys so much for watching have a lovely rest of your day and i will see you next time and go check out aryasaki on fucking everything i will rate him instead peter park bye bye i need to pay